Okay, I'd like to show you how to do an analysis uh, with separating contact and friction in some solid cloud. Here's our benchmark model. It's two bars uh, fixed at the bottom. Uh, it has a two Newton downward load on the top bar, and then we have a series of load cases here, uh, a one Newton up, a 0.9 Newton up, and then a couple of lateral load cases. And we specify in the boundary uh, separating contact. So let's look see how to do that. Here's the same model in SimSolid Cloud. Uh, I have my connection set up right there. And now let's cr create an analysis. So I have to set up a nonlinear analysis. I want to have separating contact. Uh, and I want to set up this constraint. So let's make it immovable at the bottom. And then let's uh, make the load at the top. Minus 2 Newtons. And then one more load at the end. Okay, up here, and that's one Newton up. Okay, that's good to go. We have one more thing to do. We have to go into our contact conditions, and they are by default bonded. So let's just edit that. And let's change it from bonded into separating. Now, separating, I have to do one more thing. I have to specify the friction coefficient. So I'll use 0.15. And now this is all good to go, but let's, before we run it, let's uh, copy it and make a second uh, load case. And let's just edit this load here. And instead of making it uh, one, let's make it 0 0.9. Okay, now we're good. So let's just run them both. Just turn them all on there and we'll solve it. Okay, there we go. Um, you can see that here is this is a, a stress plot, and you can see that because the first load case it just balances the one the one do not balances the two at the end in the middle, and you can see we have uh, it just pivots the whole model, so there's no there's no uh, just a rigid rotation, but you still get the stress. Now with a little bit lighter load, it only partially separates. So you can see here it bends up partially. It doesn't separate the end, uh, but we still get the separate in the, in the middle. And we can also look at reaction forces. So there's the reaction forces uh, on the connection here. And you can see that it was uh, the force, you know, just what you expect. Two down, one up, the reaction forces is one Newton. And we can also look at the same thing for uh, for the other load case. Okay, so that's how to do separating contact uh, with friction uh, in some solid cloud.